Hello and welcome in. My name is Connie and I am one of your gamekeepers and hosts for the first ever Summer of TTRPGs project. The Port and Cast is a queer, female, and non-binary actual play show where we play all sorts of TTRPGs. The Summer of TTRPGs project is a series of eight one-shots run by old and new faces to TPK so that we can highlight various tabletop systems and stories. One-shots will be set to release every other week on Tuesdays starting May 2nd until August 8th. For example, today, you're turning into my game, Liquid Gold, which is using the TTRPG Honey Heist. And next week, you'll be tuning into Moon Bear Minimum Reunion, a 5e game run by Lila. We have a cast of over 15 players and game runners to be part of this project, and you can find today's players, as well as all the other game runners and players in the description below. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> Uh, you can keep updated with our main story set in our very own world of Airmel every Saturday at 6 p.m. PST. If you would like to keep updated with any of our TTRPGs, you can follow us on Twitter at The Port and Cast, and you can watch episode clips of both the Summer of TTRPGs one-shot and A Perilous Voyage over on TikTok. If you want to keep updated with episodes of The Port and Cast, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. So let's get started by introducing today's cast. Hello, I'm Connie. I'm going to be your GM for today. I go by she, her, and you can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Camera Connie. Hi, I'm Carolee. Um, my pronouns are she, they, um, and you can find me on the things. Um, on Twitter, I'm Carolee, as it is in the little thing. And then on TikTok, I'm Carolee and Hearts. <laughs> Maybe. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm CD. Um, I use they, them pronouns, and you can find me on most social media under um, the infinite or under uh, CD mixtape. Hi, I'm Janice. I go by she, her, and you can find me on Instagram as Desidro at Desidrol814 and on Twitch uh, with just Desidrol, but I don't have a regular streaming schedule up. Hi, I'm Kat. My pronouns are she, they, and you can find me on TikTok at vermilion underscore toad. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and my pronouns are she, her, and you can find me on Twitter and um, TikTok at only one chopstick. All right. Thank you, everybody. And without further ado, let's get into this week's one shot liquid gold. <music> As our game opens with a group of bears sitting around a table, your head is seat as a wizened old bear, gray around the muzzle, who's referred to simply as the Grand Poobah. Well, by most, but father for a few bears at the table. If an outsider caught a view of this table, it would seem odd to see so many different species of bears working together. Well, that would be unless they weren't all involved in the honeypot family business. Sitting in the chair next to the Grand Poobah is Junie Jr. Junie, would you like to describe yourself? Yes, of course. So Junie Jr. is a uh, black bear. Um, he's very young, but also very big. Um, he's got <laughs> black fur, uh, classic black bear attributes, um, and a small little flat cap that he has um, <laughs> adopted from his father. Next to Junie is their adopted sibling, Grizzy. Though the jury is out on whether or not they know they are adopted. Grizzy? Grizzy is a, is a bear, at least as far as he's concerned. He's a small little guy, unlike his, his brother, uh, but uh, he, he uh, has a big personality. He's, he's here to show that he has proven his spot at the table. He's, he also wears a bowler hat uh, that he also adopted from his father. <laughs> and next to our honey badger is Frank. 
Um, so Frank is just like an old, I don't know how long bears live, but like he's old for like whatever bear standards are. Um, he's definitely got like, he's a polar bear, like graying around the edges, maybe darker hair. Um, he's just kind of grizzled looking, I guess. Um, uh, he looks like, I don't know, like just done with life. He's just done with it. Like he's over it. He's just over everything. Um, and he's definitely wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And next to this Hawaiian shirt wearing polar bear is Oreo. So Oreo is uh, your typical panda bear. Always has bamboo in hand, just constantly nom uh, chomping on it. Um, when he's not chomping, he's sleeping. Um, older bear as well, very much like been around for a while. And like whoever interacts with him kind of gets the sense that he's like, not the most stable ever. And next to our unstable bear. All right, is Pauline. How do you um, finish out the misfits? So Pauline is a sun bear. Um, she's got brown fur with like red and orange around her face and her muzzle and her belly. Um, She's middle-aged, she's going through a little bit of a crisis, used to be top of her field, but now she feels like all of these like young kids with their young energy is kind of overtaken, and she's just a little enthusiastic but confused. As you all look around the table, you see some old faces, some new faces, <clears throat> and all of a sudden you hear Grand Pooba <clears throat> clear his throat. My bears, today you sit across the table from me to help bring back honor to the honeypot name. As I'm sure you were all aware, we were shamed when my brother Vinny stole what was rightfully ours. Our hard-earned manuka honey. To be exact, five million dollars worth. We made that honey. We sourced those bees. We made trade deals with other families to ensure only the best nectar was collected. We took those bees to Disneyland every four years and let them know we appreciated their hard work. And this, this is what I'm giving in return. A cheap pleather suitcase filled with knockoff manuka honey. My brother Vinny, it's no longer blood, but you, you are. And today, we're gonna get that honey. Vinny's boys, they're doing a handoff, trying to score big with a rare honey collector by the name of Milton Dornside. He's shady. His honey practices, they're not sanitary. And we can't let the good honey pot name be tarnished anymore by being associated with the likes of him. What has it that the honey will be stored in a room on the lower level of the convention center at our local honey con, which, unfortunately, is also hosting another convention, the Lower Manhattan Fur Fest. Could be dicey. Could also be a blessing in disguise. I hear bears aren't always welcome at convention centers. I don't know for sure, because I have you guys normally doing that kind of work, so I never get my paws dirty at this level. I want you all to get the honey. Save the honey pot name. Do you have any questions? Well, um, oh, let me get the voice. Hold on. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Well, uh, what, what's in it for me, huh? What, what do we get out of it? What do you get out of it? Yeah. You're all gonna get a cut of that $5 million with the Manuka honey. For each of you, you get a hundred K. It was the bonuses that was gonna go to the bees, but we did have a minor disaster last year at Disney World, and a lot of them ended up flying into some insecticide. Oh, so oh, yeah. we do have some open funds. Yeah, yeah. I, I it was a real, that, yeah. It was a real tragedy. We had to send out a lot Ooh. of sympathy letters. That could buy a lot of bamboo. Well, you, <clears throat> we could get you some bamboo. Um, there are a couple bees that, that know somebody that knows somebody that has a good bamboo distributor. Uh, I, I do have a couple of cans of bamboo hops, hot bamboo shoots maybe. I can always kind of throw those in as a bonus. Okay. Perfect. Are you all ready? I won't let you is. down. There is. Just know, my sons, I've assembled this team specifically for you. 
I've given you all jobs. I expect you to hold true to those positions that I was deciding that you all needed in a very, not hurriedly, decision at all. And I want you to know, you're all gonna make me proud. And if you don't, dismissed. As the grand Pooba stands up and makes his way from the table and kind of bear walks his <laughs> way over. <clears throat> Where next we find all of you hanging out at the convention center. As our bears, all five of you, different shapes, sizes, make your way into the convention center. You walk in a little nervous at first, but all of you donning your hat, knowing hats make bears look like people. That's what you've always known. You've never seen a bear wear a hat, so it is for sure something that will make you blend in with the people. And you see different people, different characters walking around. You hear music, the slight zzzz of bees. You can smell the honey. You actually do see in front of the doors, a little uh, bamboo planter on either side, sort of decorating the front doors. And- Sorry, I'm straight for them. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of crack off bamboo and Oreos kind of chewing on their bamboo, getting a good fix for that bamboo craving that is always there. On either side, by the escalators and stairs, you see two go-karts kind of hanging out in the corners with little signs that, well, they're written in people. How did, I'm sure one of you would probably know what people is. And I believe that would be our brains. Does anyone know how to read this? Oh, oh I, um, I actually took a class on this. Um, um, oh, those are some words. Yeah, it says exit. Mm -hmm. And and there's a there's a terrorist. Mm -hmm. um, what, no, what, there's a lobby. What the what the what? what oh, I can't do the voice. <clears throat> what the hell is a terrorist? Oh, I I don't know. That's just what it says. What's an exit? I I don't. I, I, I think it's the opposite of where we came in. Unless that's the name of where we came in. Oh. So we went in the exit. Yeah, yes, I think I, I think that's right, yeah. Okay. Oreo. People don't just just don't just eat bamboo. Or stop it. And like yeah. he like yeah. smacks or Oreo on the hungry. arm. It's just either eat. eat or sleep. Well, just don't eat bamboo mm -hmm. just in the middle of the freaking place. Like, the, they don't eat bamboo. Well, well, I don't I don't think we should be sleeping either, so maybe just... You just try and hide it a little bit with your... with your arm? But just don't eat the bamboo. Can <laughs> you see Oreo raises up their arm, and there's bamboo sticking up, and then about a foot and a half sticking below their arm from where they've broken it off. But the physical eating of the bamboo, totally hidden away. I can't even tell what they're doing, so I, I think we're I think we're good. Yeah, much better. As, <clears throat> as the five of you are gathered around the go karts, trying to read the signs, and you're kind of mm, 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 kind of pointing out a person. Is it a person? It's a giant fox. And they're blue and white, and they have big doe eyes. Kind of struts on over. Oh, these costumes are so cute! Oh my goodness, you have to come with me! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here! And they grab the closest arm to them, which is going to be Frank. And um, and starts when you on do your that arm. high pitched voice, it cuts out completely, and we can't oh, hear you at okay. all. Yeah. Okay. Um, is this better? Mm hmm I think okay. so. Okay. All right. Well, the fox comes over and, oh, hi, hi. You all look so cute today. Um, can, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You need to hurry. You're, you're Warrior looking good tonight. Between Frank and this thing. Come on, come on, come on. And, and then 
uh, she also grabs onto Oreo as well and starts pulling Frank and Oreo with her. This was not the plan, do, guys. Do bears like how are the how is the talking situation like? <laughs> you can grunt out a few human words. It's gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. But you might be able to get a few simple sentences out. Okay. What the fuck? Where? No. 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 Oh, no. oh I hear go. Go. Yeah, yeah, go. No. Go. 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 Come on. <laughs> She's pulling you towards the Coliseum entrance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Honey. Honey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In here! <laughs> honey, honey, honey. Mario looks back to the other bears. Is this where he said to go? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I think Colleen I does the bear thing where she kind of like waves, but just <laughs> like this and tries to pull him over. Oh. Oreo starts walking back towards the other bears. <laughs> No, we don't have any time. I need all of you. Come on, her. And you see the fox start waving her arms and other anapomorphic creatures in various shades of pink and purple and green start converging around all of you and going, Oh, no. <laughs> I don't all... think we can escape this. I thought we were the only ones on this job. Why are there so many of us? We said furries, too. So I guess What's that the hell is a furry? Aren't we all furry? Yeah, I think we all are also all furries, so. So petting himself and petting others. Yeah, I guess. I'm I can't believe the fur on your costume. It's so realistic. Come on, that's why you have to come in. Watch her away. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And the cuddle puddle ensues as you were all being squished closer and closer in on one another. Oh. Until you're kind of forced inside of the doors <laughs> and into the Coliseum. Frank's just accepted his demise. <laughs> this is just happening. Can I try to weasel my way out because I'm so small? Sure, uh, go ahead and roll for bear. How, how big is Grizzy? Uh, Grizzy. Like, in comparison I... to everybody else. <laughs> uh, Grizzy. Okay, so you definitely succeed. I would say, compared to the rest of them, Grizzy is a solid two and a half feet to three feet tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, right, so you succeeded in your bear roll, Grizzy. You do manage to slither your way through the ensuing cuddle puddle that is pushing you forward. Uh, where is the rest of the gang? Are they, like, so far in? Are they, like, one of the last people? Uh, they are in the center of this cuddle puddle. So, essentially, you've been forced into this little circle together with furries kind of from every direction thinking you have the best fursuits they have ever seen. So realistic. Usually people go like way off the deep end and you all super realistic bears. So they want to get you in there. And plus the hats, nice touch. So I would say uh, your group of friends right now are being, are, have just been pushed through the main entrance, the, the larger set of double doors in the Coliseum. Had, had Grizzy, uh, wiggles himself out and then yells uh as best as he can in human F furry costumes free auditorium <laughs> all right i would like you to roll a uh, for criminal to see how well you can lie in a non-native tongue oh no <laughs> So you you weasel your way out, so make sure you move that point <laughs> from criminal to bear. You weasel your way out, and you stand up and start yelling, Costumes! Pray! Blah, 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 and then just bear. Just starts coming out as you're panicking, <laughs> trying to figure out how to stop your friends being pushed further and further into the Coliseum room. 
Uh, a few furries come over and they look at you and... Mm -hmm. I like what you're doing there with your accent. It's really believable. And another one kind of pats you. <laughs> you look great, but honey, I think you lost your parent. You might want to go find them. <laughs> start trying your paw and try to lead you into the furry coliseum room. <laughs> uh, brother, bear. I think it, Judy like heard your like bear um, noises and just is gonna try to like was like just like politely li letting people look at him. Um, and now it's just gonna try and like strong arm his way through the crowd, and, like just like steamrolling a little bit. Go ahead and roll for bear. Okay. Shit. <laughs> so you hear, you hear the cries of Grizzy trying to make their way to, to call out. And you're like, I got this. And as you start to go forward, you forget that you've actually still let one person feel the fur <laughs> on your arms. And as you start to pull, you're like, oh, Kind of getting pulled back by the crowd. Is it going? No, 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 no! Come on, come on! Hurry, hurry! We gotta go. The show's starting. <laughs> no, brother, 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 <laughs> brother bear, brother. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I hear another bear calling out for you, saying, "Brother bear, here, let me take you back to them." <laughs> Y'all guide over to the group. I believe this bear is with one of you in the realistic suits. All right. I would recommend to maybe keep on holding their hand because they, you know, children do get lost here and some fairies aren't necessarily the nicest people. I don't know about the honey congoers, but you know, I might want to be a little more careful. You honey. honey yes. You said honey. Honey con. Honey con. Honey con. Honey con. Yeah, that's what's going on next door. <laughs> Well, or you can look at it afterwards. The admission covers fur con and honey con. It's a two for one. They thought we might enjoy being two, a little sticky. Two fur. Two fur. Exactly. I really like your little your little hat there, uh, white bear. It's it's really uh, it's a great touch. No normally, you see polar bears wearing scarves and holding like bottles of like soda. So, I mean, this is a really great, great take on that. Soda. Yeah, yeah soda. Mm -hmm. Sugar. Ch sugar. Yeah. Well, there's a, there are concession stands. You can get soda and sugar and all sorts <laughs> of other foods later after this. Don't you worry. They even have hot dogs, too. I'm excited for a Coney Island hot dog. <laughs> and the... You said sh there's, a, there's a show? <laughs> show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, the show, 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 show. Hurry, come on, come on, come on, come on. And see a free show. Boxed. I mean, <laughs> just to the to the brothers' show. I mean, might as well. We're we're, we're here. Might as well see a show. I mean, yeah, I don't, not, I don't think we're yeah, the show. We're at the show. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. I'm sorry. I should have told you. I'm I'm one of the the organizers. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Um, I really think you should just keep going forward, though. Um. Come on. <laughs> She's really chipper. I is going to grab whatever bear is next to her, probably Oreo, and just grunt out bathroom. 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 Uh, oh, grab Frank. Okay, I'll bathroom. Bathroom. bathroom's can, show. Can you wait five minutes? Five minutes because we're ready to go. <laughs> and like Oreo's gonna start like going through since he's the muscle and like pushing. All right, roll for bear with advantage using your muscles to find the bathroom. All right, roll one more time. You're rolling with advantage. Nope. <laughs> so move one pair uh, point to criminal. Okay. Uh, as you okay. are trying to say bathroom, bathroom, and you're trying to do your best impression of like a potty dance that a bear could do. Uh, the, the, the people just hear, room, room, room. <laughs> As you're kind of going around, like, oh, the Fortona D100, it's downstairs. Room, room, room. <laughs> and they keep pushing all of you forward until you all end up on the stage, up front, the five of you. 
And as all five of you are pushed up onto the stage by the blue fox character, she goes, and our final contestants today for the amateur division is this group of bear impersonators. And you see the audience go, Rawr. And they start clapping. Do you do anything whilst up on stage? Um, I, I, I get up on my wings. hind legs and do like this. Oh, I love it. All right, uh, roll for bear to see if we can impress the audience. <clears throat> oh, yes. Uh, so, unfortunately, you stand up on your hind legs, and you kind of keep moving, keep moving, and then you sort of trip a little bit and, and kind of sit down on your, your butt. And while you don't successfully do the trick you were hoping for, the audience clap, 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 clap. very excited. What? Anybody what, else what doing we... anything? Uh, uh, in bear or like to the to the brothers? What, what are we? What are we doing up here? Like, why are we up here? I mean, what? What is? What is? What is this? It's a contest. Uh, Human uh, show. No. I thought we were gonna see like a Did movie or something or they were surprise. I'm tired. Are we just are we just supposed to show uh, like the bear we are? I, I think we do something cool and then they they let us go. I, I think we just have to do something cool and they'll let us go. I tried to do a dance but I fell. <laughs> What? So maybe you guys should try dancing. We, we were all just like, okay. we all like huddle in a circle and we're like huddling, <laughs> trying to like on stage figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> like, So the audience, while all of you are kind of huddled together, the audience goes, bear time, bear time, bear time, bear time. Do, do they bear just want us to say bear time? Like, do we just what say bear like, time? Bear. Grizzy's getting into it. We gotta do something cool, guys. Let's do something. <laughs> Come on, I can. So dance. I'm, We're dancing. Okay, I'll try. I'm, I'm too I'll, old I'll try to for this dance. Shit. Like what? I don't. JJ, can I get on your shoulders and we can do a little thing, like we, like we do when we try to pretend we're pop? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like it puts you up. <laughs> JJ, roll for for bear with advantage since you're being okay. aided by Grizzy. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> All right, so JJ, you plop Grizzy on your shoulders and you start doing like bear things and then you sort of break into like a dance where you, you end up doing like the same lift that <laughs> you know, lift them up in the air and kind of swing them around and then you wrap Grizzy around your neck as though it is an, like a fox scarf. <laughs> and you kind of parade yourself around in the audience going yeah. I'm being hyped by the like clapping I wasn't sure at first and I'm like strutting my stuff <laughs> is anybody else doing anything to aid in the bear formance Colleen is going to try to do her idea of a human impression of a, like a bear roar alright uh, let's yeah. Roll for criminal as you're trying to impersonate a human. <laughs> a, a human impersonating a bear as a bear. <laughs> Perfect. Hell yeah. That was great. You get up there and you're getting ready to go. And you go. Roar. <laughs> and the audience starts clapping, but you hear voices. Oh, I thought they were going to be better than that. <laughs> um, oh, the dogs. Um, so Frank will go up and just like from watching people TV and just seeing people TV, he's gonna walk up to the microphone and grab it and just hold it and be like, but fully in bear because he doesn't know that many words in human that 
So I was going to the bodega one time down uh, a couple of weeks ago and I saw this cat and this cat, I mean, it was just kind of hanging out there. The cat was just kind of chilling on the shelf. And I mean, I was like, that cat looks pretty delicious, but I didn't want to kill the cat because it's and like just trying to do like a comedy <laughs> routine, but it um, so doesn't um, speak that much human. I would like for you to roll for bear. <laughs> You're trying to do your comedy routine, and the people love it, but the meaning is lost. They, yeah. Every once in a while, they're here like, rah, 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 cat, rah, 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 bodega, and people are a little confused, <laughs> like, there's so many words kind of coming out. Uh, but they continue to clap, looking real excited. <clears throat> well, uh, I, I tried, I don't... <laughs> I, I think uh, Grizzy's gonna climb down from his brother um, and just, like, take his hand and then, like, take Frank's hand and then, like, turn to them and be like, take everyone, take the other's hands and then, like, try to bow, like, we're finished. Like, this is it. We're done. <laughs> bears all come together. They grab their hands in a typical curtain call. The bears, you all five bow down <laughs> and come up. And as you do that, the audience goes wild they start clapping cheering and at that the blue and white fox walks up on stage and takes the microphone away from you frank and goes and here we have it our wonderful contestants it seems like all of you have been decided as the winners of our amateur fursu competition and the audience goes and as they do Oreo that, looks at her and he's like, what do we win? <laughs> it's a good thing that you asked. Here you go. And they present to you this prize. <clears throat> and it looks like a lava lamp. <laughs> and we're going to go right here. I'm going to show it to you guys so you can see it. And this is the Lava Lamp of Chill that is presented to you. And uh, how the Lava Lamp of Chill works is that when you plant it on the ground and activate the Lava Lamp, so you turn it on, it is battery powered, uh, it inhibits all people within a 30 foot radius to remain in the area for 10 minutes as they are mesmerized by the globules of wax <laughs> going up and down and also the top of it does play the funkiest 70s music <laughs> definitely my taste for sure this is my taste <laughs> and also 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 you've won vip tickets for next year's fur con you got a little bit of swag so just make sure later to go downstairs to the dealer's room to pick up your additional prizes let's give our attendants a round of applause let let's get off the stage while she's not looking done <laughs> now inhuman <laughs> Where where are we where do we go for the honey? She, Oreo honey? asks like the rest of the bears. We got we still gotta get the honey. Go. Oh, I I think we go downstairs. I think that's where we gotta go. They Lo lower level, right? Well, mm -hmm. she said there was something about the the honey con in the auditorium, like it was next to the this thing that there was honey thing is oh, next door we, we we should go check it out check out honey con you think they'll let us go now i want to try to walk off the stage but like not all through like not using the stairs just like as a bear just i'll i would jump down from like a tree or something so i'm just jumping down Holy, yeah <laughs> We're we all just roll hop. for bear. Just all yeah. of us hop down. Just all of you. Um, roll, <laughs> roll for bear just to see if you can collectively roll off the stage in the most roly-poly bear so, fashion possible. I have a question about mechanics. Yes. So when we fail, so I rolled a six because that, so that was a fail because it was higher than a three, right? Mm -hmm. But I was rolling um, bear. Do I, I give a point to criminal, right? Correct. So if you fail the yes. opposite, you get a point in the other. Okay. 
Correct. I just want to make sure. Okay. And, and then you take, you take the same. point away from the other one or yeah. that one stays. That stays. The way that you move <laughs> oh, okay, it is okay. by doing your criminal flashback mm. or by eating honey. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. So our bears, we have Frank who has failed. Uh, <laughs> Oreo has succeeded. Uh, Grizzy fails. Pauline fails. Hey, Grizzy got two. Oh wait, wait, Grizzy got a two? Oh, sorry, yes. Oreo failed. Two. Oreo failed. Yeah. Sorry, I was reading the wrong stats. So for our bears that have failed, you start to make your way off of the stage, but you're actually not used to being on like human platforms. You used to your paw pads having something like bark or grass underneath them. So as you go to jump off, your foot kind of off the sides and you just do a bear on the ground and end up kind of sitting down kind of bum first <laughs> on the ground while the other bears kind of like kind of sort of crawl down and hop down and the audience goes what oh, they look like real bears at the zoo that do silly things they're amazing and and people come over trying to get autographs from you oreo takes the lava lamp from whoever had been given it to him and just sticks it right there so they're all mesmerized Let's go, guys. Honey. As you, <clears throat> so as you place the lava lamp down, you all turn your faces away, as you know. Click it in, and you hear this... <laughs> you know, starting to play, and everybody's like... Ah. Oh, Frank. Frank initially is like... I, I remember I remember this one. This was a good one. Yeah, I remember when this one came out. No, it's kind of like yeah. You gotta go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Let's go. Yeah. As as we're leaving, can I try and like look at somebody's pockets and see if I can find anything? <laughs> totally. Roll for criminal. Okay. <laughs> so that succeed. Uh. Five. Yeah. Yeah, that that is yeah, totally succeeds. <laughs> so uh, I, will right now. Say, I will say you are super close to uh stealing everything from the party. So honey is highest priority. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what you actually find in their pocket is a um a sample of honey. If you see how they'll use the plastic straws sometimes and seal off the ends. Um the the honey has a little American flag on it. This is America. And Mark. the honey has little black speckles inside of it. Uh, you also find a lighter. And you find this weird green paper that has maybe numbers, something on it. Uh, but it's 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 a $20 bill is what you find. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, I lighter. Would, okay. I would think we would know about money though, because if we were, we knew that the honey was going to be worth five million dollars, and we were going to get a hundred thousand dollars in money. It's true. You probably would know. So you've seen it before, but sometimes numbers are a little hard. In numbers, I was like, I probably don't know how much it yeah, is exactly, uh, but I know it's a bill for it's sure. It's a bill. It's um, money. I'm immediately as we're leaving, just gonna like suck on my honey stick. <laughs> All right, wobbling so out. You kind of slurp on the honey stick, kind of using your bare paws to like squish it as as easily as you can. It's a gogurt, um, and it yeah, it's a gogurt. It is a honey gogurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big bare paws kind of squishing it, and as you chew down, um, you have these like little particles, and when you get it between your teeth, you feel like a little snap, crackle, almost like you're eating pop rocks that happen in your mouth. But you can now take one point uh, from criminal and put it back into bear. <laughs> uh, so you're eating this and you're like, I'm gonna steal, I need to steal, I need to take all of the things. And you eat it like, oh no, I'm not hungry. I, you know, I'm, I'm not angry. I just, you know, I needed I'm some honey. Angry. You just, I was angry. Are. <laughs> and you uh, make yeah, your way out, unless there's anything else you would all like to do. Yes. That's okay. correct. That's Only six points at a time. Is there anything else that you would like to do as you make your way out? All right. As you make your way out, you do notice um, uh, non, not as many 
fur-suited individuals starting to make their way into the arena. Um, they start kind of making their way in, and you actually see, as you enter into the room in your bear form, you're not the only anapomorphic creatures that are in the room. There are some people dressed as dragons, unicorns, whatnot, that are in the room as well. And you'll notice that the divider between the two rooms has been folded up on itself, opening the whole arena and auditorium into one large room. At the back of the room, you see a woman in a white coat, uh, <clears throat> brown hair. She's holding a mic and she's holding a syringe. And uh, she's sort of kind of kind of waving it back and forth. And you see a couple of tables sort of set up on the side of and displays of honey and other medical supplies and you kind of catch bits and pieces of it and today we're going to be talking about our medicinal honey and she's talking about all the different uses for honey and medicine sometimes we use it to act uh, as an antibiotic for some of our wounds and uh, other times we use the honey simply because our bodies need it because honey is nature's true elixir of health. And she starts kind of going on about that. Is there anything you'd like to do in this room with the host presenting tables full of honey and other medical supplies? I'm gonna try and grab some. All right, go uh, ahead. I think Paula like shuffles over and just like in her best human form and just tries to like grab one. Okay, go ahead, roll for criminal. Perfect. So you come up and you sort of sashay on over and you kind of lean on the table. And I mean, you are a sun... Wait, oh, no, you're not the sun bear. <laughs> I am the sun bear. Yeah, you're the sun bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you kind of lean down you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, some good honey. And you say, honey. <laughs> and the the person at the table goes, oh, oh, you're looking for honey. All oh, right, and they kind of bend down, and while they bend down, you take your paw and you swipe at the table. Uh, roll a d6 to see how many samples of honey you manage to swipe off of the table. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you manage to get six samples of medicinal honey. And because you are the brains of this, mm -hmm. you, you happen to see on the little vials, uh, they say for... Uh, topical use only. Oh, that's a that's a big word. <laughs> <clears throat> so take that as whatever information as you will. So while our honey is currently being stolen from one table, is there anything else our bears would like to do? Um, Oreo is probably going to go up and not mm, not try and steal, but kind of try and I guess. Like, distract them? Well, no, I guess it would still be stealing. Yeah. <laughs> distract them in a different way, like, while also still trying to steal honey. All right, how does Oreo cause a distraction? Um, it's a good question. How is Oreo going to cause a distraction? Um, he pulls, he pulls Grizzly along and be like, hey, hey, perform for them. You got it. <laughs> I walk, I strut on my hind legs, and then in front of the, the person, I just go, honey, honey, honey. <laughs> I just do that over and over again. <laughs> All and right. I'm, I'm trying to steal the, the honey. <laughs> Oreo, you're going to roll for criminal, and Grizzy, you're going to roll for uh, criminal as well. <laughs> okay. <goodness>. Oreo, okay. <laughs> so, Grizzy, you're doing an excellent job persuading them. Uh, Oreo, uh, you also do yes. an amazing job at Oreo. You're kind of close to growing feral as well, so yep, it's really it. great that you're stealing that honey. <laughs> So you you swipe some honey, but for just a split second, you look over at Grizzy like the great dance. Like 
I wish I had more energy to dance like that. <laughs> and she you like waves a paw in the air, like to go go along with it, but that's about all he's got. <laughs> Like, you just don't care. All right, go ahead. Roll that d6 to find out how much honey you're able to swipe. How do I roll just the plain d6 in here? Uh, On the side of the little, like, like the pointer stick, the little, little icon. You can also just uh, I'll backslash just roll r space d6. Oh, I'm so not used to doing that in here. Uh, that's a one. That's all right. We get one vial of honey. And uh, again, it is the sample size. It is the Gogurt sized honey. Um, and this honey um, says go go honey. Mm. Um, and it is a slightly darker shade of honey, uh, closer to like the brown shade of honey versus like the bright gold shade of honey that you might be used to i consume it <clears throat> all right you consume the honey and you your eyes brighten you feel something surge through your veins that you've never felt before you feel caffeine you feel energized it's like the whole world has slowed down in front of you and you can see everything, everywhere at once. What all of you see is Oreo squeezing the Gogurt worth of honey into their mouth and their pupils fully dilate. Oh no! <laughs> Looking around, <clears throat> just like... I feel amazing, guys! Let's uh, go get this honey! What? That's what the fox had, probably, because they, they had really big eyes. Is that what this is? Oh. Yeah. I feel um, like. Do you have like, any more of that? Because I kind of want to experience that. Why am I country? <clears throat> do you have any more of that? I kind of want to. Ex I'm country again. Why can't I do this? Oh my god. Country. Do you have any more of that? <laughs> I want to experience it. I swiped it from over there, but we also got to go get our honey. We can't keep playing around with this honey. Am I still dancing? You are totally still dancing. <laughs> I want to I mean, try really to bring happened. people into it like a dance circle. It's exactly what's happened. It's it's kind of like you're like the little bard of the group doing your little dance and shimmy shimmy. Now you're sort of, you know, moving your body around. And people have started to come over to this table because they think that this little adorable honey badger is associated with this brand of honey. That this is the ambassador for Go Go Honey. And if you look... At the label for Go Go Honey, Grizzy looks strikingly similar to the mascot. <laughs> this is my honey. Is over there. <laughs> You're doing your little performance, kind of hanging out. Honey, um, so honey. <laughs> if Frank would like to try to steal honey, Ooh. they've got one final I'm, opening. Um. So would they would like as bears? Would we know? like our scores like would he know like nah i don't want to risk it right now or like you would feel if you're starting to go feral mm -hmm. like you would definitely feel your impulse is changing mm -hmm. you could feel if you're like Arr! or if you like oh. yeah so i don't want to metagame it because the criminal like it's at five and so i know if it hits six that if you hit that there's an opportunity for the party to correct it before it goes totally awry Oh, okay. Okay. Because mm -hmm. the party will see you either going fully criminal or see you going bare okay. and make adjustments as quick as possible. Gotcha. But we should just, but we don't, as a bear, don't necessarily know unless it's like the feral bit. You would feel if you're a borderline going to go feral. Like, yeah. I yeah. just, because he would try to take it. He's like, dang, like that looks fun. Yeah. I want some of that. But yeah. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I want me some of that honey. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're like, I want to steal that honey. I want to steal that honey so bad! And you see, instead of taking the one honey, what all of you see is Frank miss the honey, and then Frank starts making their way over to our other bear with the honey. Over to your bear, Pauline. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
what are we talking? What are we talking? Oh, 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 you can, you can, you can have one. They're not. They say not to eat them, but that might just be like a human rule. But um, I, I, did you, I mean, we got a mission. We gotta stick to it. We can't let these kids show us up. I, I need the honey. We gotta, we, we gotta, we gotta stay on top of it. Here you go, and I just the honey take mm -hmm. the honey as you are compelled to steal as much as possible from the party right now so you take do you take just one honey do you take all of the honey how many honeys are you going to try to down um as many as as many as frank can go gird at one time okay <laughs> so go ahead and roll a d6 let's find out how many you can go gird no that's a three all right, you are able to take three of the honey that Pauline had taken before, <laughs> and you take them and you squeeze them and like rage squirt them into your mouth, and the honey coats down the back of your throat, and you feel immediate relief, and then you feel nothing as your entire tongue goes numb. <laughs> You okay there, Frank? Polly, what the hell was that crap? What the hell was I, that, I Polly? said you weren't supposed to eat it! You I said it was a human like, thing! I said it could be a human thing. You're supposed to I'm eat a small one. I am smarter than you. I didn't eat it. Um, it looked, it I, looked real good. I don't know. Okay. But I can't feel my tongue now. My tongue is just more and more. I can't feel it anymore. And now your nose is starting to go numb. You could equate this to if you've ever had front teeth, any work done at the dentist, where like your whole palate, nose, everything. Uh, go ahead and roll a another d6 for me to see how many minutes this numbness will last. Four. So for the next four minutes, you're a little numb. <laughs> let's go try it in the good honey. Let's go, let's get good honey. All right. Anything else we'd like to do in this room before we make our way? I feel like I've caused a, a kind of a, a a big distraction at this point. I feel like I have a crowd <laughs> around me. Um, I, I think I want to like pull someone in. And like try to like sw like switch switch with them, and then as I maneuver through the crowd to get back to everyone, I do want to pickpocket some people. Totally, go ahead and roll for criminal. I I was gonna have uh, JJ was just like <laughs> climbing along with with the dancing. <laughs> um, so it looks like my brother's trying to like swap somebody out. Could I assist at all? Like, could I totally, be like... <laughs> totally? How so? You're pushing. So JJ, you. Push someone forward. <laughs> I didn't even need okay. it. Never mind. You do great. You do great. I, you... I do great with the help of my brother. <laughs> so, JJ, you see Grizzy starting to have that like look of panic. Like, oh shit, how do I leave? How do I leave? How do I leave? And you find the closest furry next to you, which is a person in a full-on like dragon suit bright green and you push them forward into grizzy and grizzy you start dancing and you grab their hand and you kind of spin them for a second and as you spin them you definitely leap off of the table onto the floor into the crowd and i want you to go ahead and roll for uh criminal to now see if we can pick the pockets was that what my criminal role was for before or oh. was that uh, you know, we'll carry it over. We'll carry it over because it worked for both for the distraction. So uh, you hop down onto the ground and you see the woman who was presenting on stage before. <clears throat> she has now come over to the table to investigate who's stealing all of her marketing time. And you put your little badger uh, into her jacket and pull it out. You do happen to rip it because you got some long claws but you do manage to grab out uh, a stethoscope. Uh, and you also manage to grab a tongue depressor. I try to eat the tongue depressor. 
you kind of bite down and it's chewy and you think to yourself, why does Oreo like to chew wood like this? <laughs> and you uh, get, Oreo would love this. Get a little <laughs> splinter in your mouth. <laughs> uh, JJ, you see your brother successfully hop down and you kind of grab their paw for a second and fill in the role of parent and child that was assigned to you by the other furries as you start to make your way to the door. Do any of our other bears want to do anything else before we leave this room? Oreo, I got this for you. I hadn't hung the presser. Oreo takes it. What? What is it? You eat. You eat that, don't you? No. Oh. He, like, throws it behind him. <laughs> I also got this, and I don't know what it does, but it looks kind of fun. <laughs> and you see them holding it by, like, the wrong end. So, like, holding it by the, the, the part that you listen to the heart of the lungs with, and the two sides are just kind of dangling down at the bottom. <laughs> got um, can Pauline go over and just, like... Yeah. <laughs> Rotate it. <laughs> Totally. Holly, what is this? I, I, I saw it. I watched a movie once through a through a human window and there was a guy who like was listening to things. I don't I don't know what you hear. Whoa. Can I put it in, can I put it in my ears and, and, and like do the like speak into it like hello? <laughs> so as you do that, it goes really loud in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's too loud. You can have it. Can I, I? Can I do like a criminal role? I guess maybe to see if like this was something that Frank may recognize from like trying to pick locks or like fix like or like break totally. into things. Yeah. So I will totally. Could we call that advantage? Like I know it's hacker, yes. but like nope. I'm no, thinking that okay. is right in cool. hacker tools. Okay. Um, oh wait, not bear, sorry. It's okay. Okay. With ease, you know exactly how this works. You've watched a couple of movies with it in. Through the window with Pauline. You've seen these work. You've used hey, one Pauline, similar. I remember the movies we saw. Yeah, I could, can I have that? I could use that. Yeah, I mean, my hands are still full with this one, so you can find your head. Oh, their tongue is too, uh, can I have that? I could put it around my neck then, okay? Thanks, Polly. Are you sure? As you <clears throat> put it on, um, you feel, you feel pretty good about yourself. You feel like you're in your element, finally. Your tongue may be numb, but you know what? You got a tool. It's great. It's good to be back. You're not washed up. You only thought you were washed up are making your way out the doors and at this point the crowd has thinned in the lobby and you do see people that are making their way either up through the Skyview Terrace kind of checking out the whole place on the walkway kind of seeing what's going on you see some people sitting in the go-karts and you hear noises coming from downstairs <laughs> and also like the of, of cars maybe um, that are coming from the lower levels. That's where we gotta go, right? We gotta go... Mm -hmm. So if we followed that noise? Can I make Easy. some kind of check to, like, sense if, like, the honey is... Damn totally. Weird? Roll for okay. advantage to check for honey. Would that be bear, I'm guessing? Yes. Okay. Hell yeah! You know there is the mother load of honey downstairs. All right, um, and I'm just trying to escort everyone onto the escalator and make sure like our fur doesn't get stuck. All five of oh. the bears. Oreo's gonna kind of like take a side detour and try and get one of the cars because we heard car noises, so he associates like. Let's go grab a car to blend in. <laughs> <laughs> Get a big old car. 
<laughs> All right, so I would like for you to roll for criminal to see if you can get the uh, car like, rolling. Like go kart? What is like a golf cart or? It like... is a go kart. Like oh, okay. one of the ones that can go like forty miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Oh my I lord! Get it. Yes. So as as Janice is trying to be like the mother bear, ushering all of the other bears down the scary moving stairs, making sure all hands are on the sides, all fur is lifted above the steps, you hear <laughs> and you see Oreo sitting there, hands, paws on the steering wheel, look up at you and make eye contact. <laughs> and rev the go kart. See you guys down there. <laughs> where did where did he learn to drive? What the hell? Where do you learn to drive? Whoa! I want to drive. Honestly, yeah, it's kind of cool. What if what if we just I all? I've seen it in the movies. Oreo, how do you plan to get downstairs in <laughs> your go kart? Driving down the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna okay, so we're gonna roll a d6, and if you roll a four, uh, a, a five or a six, your go kart careens off of the edge. If you roll a four or lower, you are able to successfully ride down the escalator. Perfect. Okay. Are we on the escalator at the moment? Yes. I roll Can again. I... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Pauline, you are ushering all of the bears to go on, and Oreo has decided to live their their fast and furious dreams. <laughs> I believe. Oreo rockets around the side, not just going straight for it, gets like a running start. And you, do you do anything to the bears on the escalator while you see what Oreo's getting ready to do? Uh, I think so. Run! I can can I a like bit growly. you know how on escalators they have like the handrail part. <laughs> like down to that. I was gonna do the same yep. thing. Yep, you could totally do that. Uh, so you bear on and slide down the side. <laughs> Oreo comes rocketing through, hits like the the the, the actual um, things that your hands go on, and starts riding down them, vroom, 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 catching speed goes up in the end into the air as all of you land into the lower level. <laughs> and as you land in the lower level, Oreo, I would like for you to roll one more d6 to see if you can successfully turn the vehicle in time before crashing into the food court. Okay. What numbers am I going for? Uh, it's the same as before. Four or lower okay. is a success. Five or six is a failure. That's a three. <laughs> so Oreo makes his way down the stairs on the escalator, careening down. The other bears, you're just looking on like, what the fuck is this? As Oreo is waving at you. So happy and proud of what they're doing. And as you land at the bottom, you go, oh, I, oh, 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 I need to turn. You actually turn the wrong way. Because you're bare, pause the wheels, what? How? And you go flying into the food court and you manage to hit a Wendy's. <laughs> and you go in and careen. Chicken nuggets go flying. Fries go flying in the air. People are screaming right now. You didn't hit anybody, thankfully. But for right now, I don't think anybody is getting uh, a Baconator. I look first to see if there's any bamboo around before doing anything else. Roll for bear! While Oreo was doing this, you've all just seen Oreo crash into a fast food restaurant. Is there anything that you would like to do uh, while Oreo uh, successfully looks for bamboo, but finds that there is none available? <laughs> Frank is pretending that that he doesn't uh, he's not associated with them, and it's just like, okay. 
And it's gonna just like turn around and like alrighty and just be like not one of them and then like walk just like start walking around to look to see if maybe he can find um where this special honey might be stashed. Mm -hmm. And Oreo's just gonna walk away from the crash site like nothing happened, like doop 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 doop. As Sorry, as as uh, Oreo's walking away, can I just yell, Who was that fox who drove the <laughs> cart into the food? <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ, you, really? you yell in the best impression of a human that you've done in your life, Grizzy. And you yell out, Who? Box? Crash? Car? <laughs> and you actually see convention security run up to you and go, Do you know who did this? Do you know who did that? Fox. That's a lot of foxes. I need more details. Uh, it was like either red or brown or green. Okay. I can't see color. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what green is. Alright. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, my, my cousin's colorblind too. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'll get you those extra chrome glasses later. I gotta go. And you see them start sprinting upstairs trying to find a red, blue, brown, yellow, or green fox. <laughs> it's the look the entire rainbow. Mm -hmm. yeah, just <laughs> Rainbow foxes. Yes. They find a pride fox. <laughs> like, wait, what? No! <laughs> oh, no. Not the, no, the fox. pride fox. Uh, I will say JJ had uh, stars in his eyes when uh, Oreo <laughs> managed to get the cart down the stairs. Um, but if they're, like, leaving the seed, we'll be like, <laughs> we'll politely look away. Oreo, you, you catch just the hint of JJ, like, nodding and trying to hide his face. <laughs> trying to not show that they thought it was really cool. That was cool! <laughs> but it wasn't you! <laughs> it's the fox! As you start to make your way down into the lower levels, you notice there are three different lobbies, and then three large halls. The hall that is closest to you, you see a lot of people in beekeeper suits, sort of making their way in and out of. In the lobby in Hall B, you see mainly furries, but some people in like bee-related gear. Uh, a lot of them have like um, rave gear on, so they might have fans or like the light whips or maybe some extra furry socks on top of their fursuits making their way in and you can hear that's kind of where the like, kind of music is playing from and at the furthest end in hall a you do see another go-kart parked and uh you hear lots of noise coming from there sounding like cars revving which all of you now having heard one run up close and personal know that is where the go-karts are and that is where the furtona 500 is being held <laughs> uh lobby b lobby c lobby a are either meeting rooms conference rooms uh lobby b is labeled honey alley where would my bears like to go first? Honey Alley. <laughs> I, I, I think Grizzy's kind of drooling. That? Like, can we read that as being Honey Alley, or do we read that as just, like, nonsense? Uh, I would say that probably Pauline could probably read it the best, and probably Frank, between the two of them having their sort of mm -hmm. hacker in brain skills. Um, <clears throat> but all of you at least would know the word honey in human speak you don't know what alley is what's an alley what are those words but you can all see honey honey honey. Honey. honey honey yeah we're looking honey. for honey i guess it would be where the honey's labeled right they're gonna label Just, the honey it does make the most yeah sense. yeah mm -hmm. you're gonna go mm -hmm. follow the honey 
Frank but, was already God. making his way over there from walking away from the crash, though. <laughs> he was just like, yep, nope, I see. <laughs> Don't know them. <laughs> Frank. Hey, Frank, wait up. I, I will say, Oreo, you have noticed that that pep in your step that you had before has now dissipated as the adrenaline that carried you through the crash, <laughs> letting you bounce and ragdoll it, has been completely absorbed from your body, and you once again feel your same level of tired you felt before. Okay. <laughs> as you, you said, mm -hmm. you said that there was a go-kart, like, outside of the, yes. of the other one? Yes. So, I, I think... I think he's following everybody into the honey alley and then is like looking at it and <laughs> was like, well, Vorio could do it. I can. Um, and it's gonna go like wander over and it's gonna, it's gonna try like drive it through the honey alley, but he wants to go get it. All right. So we're gonna start with our honey alley friends first and then we're gonna come back to you, JJ. Okay. So uh, the four of you start making your way towards honey alley so fixed on following Frank that you don't notice JJ kind of sneak off to the side and kind of diverge from the rest of the group. In front of you, you see four different uh, open rooms. And the first one, uh, if we're looking at the map here, I'm going to say it's in Lobby B. It's going to be the one on the uh, left-hand side. Yes. As you look at that, it is covered in Americana from top to bottom. You see an American flag hanging. You see um, firearms. Of course, they have the orange caps at the ends because you can't bring real firearms into a convention. You see uh, fishing poles. You see nets. And then you see jars of honey that have little speckles in them. And standing at the front of that booth, there's a, a wizened old man, long gray beard, bald on top, and he's wearing flannel. In the room below, you see probably the chillest looking room you've ever seen. It's got uh, flags, but they're like the, the tapestries that you put on your walls that have like the Mandela's on them. And uh, you see a couple more lava lamps in the room. You see a suspicious five pointed uh, leaf plant plastered all over the walls. It smells a little mm, skunky in the room. And uh, you see the words uh, hemp honey. Uh, the room next to it, you see this clean sort of sterile looking environment. It smells like disinfectant. And uh, you see the same woman who was presenting before with just uh, vials of honey in needles uh, that just says healing honey. And then in our final room, you see what can only be described as a little indie coffee shop. And they've got big couches and things to sit in. They've got the typical kind of slow, lo-fi kind of music playing. And you see people coming out with cups of honey in what would be coffee cups. <laughs> Which room would you like to explore first? Oreo sees the the American room and like sees the guns on the wall and stuff and like immediately backtracks and goes into the complete opposite room. I've seen what those do. No. Uh -uh. All right. So that means that you would back up right into the high test honey room. All right. Yeah. So Oreo has made their way into the coffee shop of honey. Do you all follow? Mm -mm. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Mm -hmm. all right. Frank, are you going in too? Or are you going in a different room, Frank? No. Um, he's like, that's young. That's young people shit. Like, I'm not going in there. Like, no, thank you. Um, and he's gonna... Um, look at um so what was the order of these things there was like the medicinal one so the top is america honey or america honey America. You got your hemp honey america hemp honey you got your healing honey and you got your high test honey okay yeah, down here yep okay okay um perfect <clears throat> so you said that the oh sorry you go on I would say, so, so we got Merca, 
hemp coffee shop and the medicinal. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, like yeah, he's going for the. Um, he smells a similar or a, a familiar smell <laughs> coming from the hemp honey. Um, uh, a uh, room. Mm-hmm. And he's like, y'all, y'all have fun in in your weird hipster place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right. over here and see if the, the, see if the honey we're looking for is down here. Yeah. JJ, you notice the party separate while most go into what looks like the coffee shop. Uh, you do see Frank going towards the uh, the hemp honey, and you realize this is your moment to escape. You make your way towards the go-kart when, of all people, it is the same fox from earlier <laughs> makes her way over to you. <laughs> um, good to see you again. Um, I'm looking for foxes. I don't think I should be upstairs right now. Um, Want to go inside? Uh, the fur tone is in there. It's they, they got great prizes. We can ride go-karts around. It'd be so fun. I see you looking at them. We can go in. <laughs> JJ was just like, I don't know if bears can sweat, uh, but he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if bears do that, but um, he's like sweating and like panically looking around. Um, and it's just going to like put a like a paw on the like fox's like head just to like ch- just push it like that, and then <laughs> um. <laughs> And then it's just gonna get into the go kart. <laughs> you take your bear paw and push the head, and you see it turn an unnatural amount. So for a moment, you sort of feel like you've broken the fox's neck because you push it way too far. And the helmet goes, <gasps> and the foxies you know, waving their arms around, and you get into the the guard. So uh, go ahead and roll for criminal with advantage. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect. So, you get in the go-kart, and you sit in there for a second, you're like, if Oreo can do it, I can do it. And you rev the engine, and your go-kart is special, because it actually has a little radio, and as you turn it on, you hear the, they see me rolling, <laughs> they hate it, <laughs> playing. As you turn it on, what would you like to do now that your go-kart is running? Um, are there, like, sunglasses anywhere in this <laughs> vehicle? You search for a second, you would pull down the visor, realize there's no visor. You look under the seat, and your large bear paws pull out a set of sunglasses. Um, they are, like, your typical Ray-Ban style. And you put them on, and realize you have to tip them at a really awkward angle for them to go over your ears. So yeah. either you can wear them where they're going, and your ears are up here. <laughs> exactly the carry. Or yeah. you can uh, tip them like that, or you can just put them on straight. But yes, uh, if you wear them tipped, your vision is going to be heavily obscured. <laughs> I'm just, I because I'm doing it how I think like I see humans do it, so I'm just gonna like make them go straight. Perfect. Human. Perfect. Yeah. Um. And then. Yeah, I just go. I like think I'm thinking to myself, and I'm like in the seat getting comfy, and I'm like. I'm gonna make my dad proud. And I like go try to like reverse it and go into the honey alleyway. <laughs> uh, with the roles that you have, we're not gonna have to worry about it. You have been trained in how to drive cars. And while a go kart is not exactly the first getaway vehicle you envisioned yourself driving, you still think this will make dad proud. And you slowly cruise in to Honey Alley. So as all of you are in your rooms and you start sort of making your way, checking out, you just and you just see this car slowly pulling in with the and I like politely beep each time somebody's in my way. Beep beep beep. Etiquette. As the people are looking at you, the bystanders kind of. Huh? Sort of looking confused as to why there is a go-kart being driven by an amazingly dressed furry. <laughs> but 
they have such good manners. It's not like this accident they heard earlier where somebody <laughs> took a go-kart from upstairs. Nobody can stop talking. This must be the go-kart patrol making their way through to ensure the safety of all of the bystanders. We pull back into our coffee shop. <clears throat> the, the three of you make your way forward. And you see this uh, young human individual uh, wearing a green smock uh, with some kind of sea creature imprinted on the front of it. Um, their hair is slicked back, tattoos. Hey, y'all. How you doing? Costumes look great. You looking for some honey? Some coffee? What can I have? What can I do? Yeah. Lots Hi. of naughty. Honey. Hey, that's perfect. Okay, um, you got any cash? No. Can mm. Colleen try and swipe the tip jar? Totally, roll for criminal. Okay. Does anybody want to do anything while they are trying to swipe the tip jar? Yeah, well, I, I see that, um, I got it, I'm the distraction guy, apparently. <laughs> uh, as I see Pauline trying to swipe the tip jar, I think I'm going to walk up to the, the lady and be like, um, uh, parent gone. Help. Oh, no. Oh, no, you lost. Oh, you did look kind of small. You did look kind of small. So uh, I can make a call over the PA system. If you hold no, on for a no, no, out there. Yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. And they start walking over to the cell phone or the phone on the wall to make an announcement. Uh, and as they do that, Pauline, you put your big bear paw into the tip jar and pull out a wad of cash. Uh, it's, it's a lot of quarters. <laughs> so as you pull it out, you click, 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 click on the floor. Uh, but you have also probably about, you know, $8 uh, worth of money in your paws. And over the now, P mm -hmm. with the shop set up, is it like there's cups of honey already set out like behind their counter or yes. like yes. while while both of them are doing that, Oreo is also going to just try and like scoop arm around some of those cups and just bring them off, off the counter. All right. Go ahead and roll for criminal. That's a no. No, oh, you, you try to swipe around, but it's actually too far away for your little panda arm to reach. So you're trying to bet at it. You just wish, you wish that you had Junie J's, you know, stature. Just JJ's so much taller. I wish they were here. And as you're thinking, I wish JJ was here, you're beep, beep, <laughs> the little go-kart. JJ? Cool. So as... You're all sort of doing this at the same time. You hear over the PA system. We got a little lost child in a great bear suit here at the uh, high tech uh, coffee shop here. Could their parent please come in and pick them up? They are very scared. Thank you. And they make their way back over. I'm sorry about that. Oh, um, okay. Do you have your honey now? Your, your, your money for the honey? Honey, I think Colleen <laughs> puts down like most of the quarters, maybe keeping a couple of bills for like five dollars just all over the coins. All right, perfect. I'm glad. I'm glad you took a moment to to search your person to to find them. And they they push over one coffee cup full of honey, and then they also push over a coffee cup full of coffee. <laughs> I mean, um, as Holly rattles away, she's going to put a dollar in the tip jar because she's seen humans do that when they leave. <laughs> um, you have now acquired go-go uh, -go juice, which will grant uh, the user an extra action for the next three rounds. But you have to roll a d6 after that because there's a high probability you could shit yourself. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. I love it. <laughs> so while this nonsense is going on, Frank, you make your way into perhaps the chillest place that you've been in in a long time. <clears throat> and you see the counter is actually made out of a surfboard. 
and you see um, honey in all sorts of different types of jars. It looks like it's like the reduce, reuse, recycle. You see baby food jars. You see actual honey bears. You see pickle jars. And hey, dude. <laughs> Righteous. That's a really great costume you got there. And I, uh, interest you in any of this pretty sweet, sweet honey. Sample? <sighs> Yo, I wish we did that, bro. But, like, dude, like the last guy, he handed everything out as samples. So I can't really. Sorry. How no good. How no good? Mm. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And he circles over. All right. You gotta keep it on, like, the down low, okay? Like, I could get fired for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he opens a baby jar size bit, and um, he scoops a finger in <laughs> and takes it and just puts it on your claw. Dude, yeah, <laughs> he's gonna take eat the honey. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you uh, eat the honey, Frank, and you feel a level of calm that you have not felt in some time, and <clears throat> you feel like this is gonna be great. Everything's gonna be fine. We're not in the middle of trying to steal honey or nothing. It's not like my whole likelihood depends on this. All of those thoughts are gone and you are in the zone. If you need to move a point, you can. Otherwise, you can just enjoy your honey knowing that right now, nothing can go wrong. Just enjoy the honey high, yeah. Um, cool. Thanks. Can you buy it now? How... How much? Oh, dude, so, like, this honey, this one is, like, $2. This is, like, a little one. And, like, now it's been sampled, so... I think, he, honey. I think he's just gonna c repeat words he's heard as righteous <laughs> Ew, yeah he's going to um pretend to go look in his like hawaiian shirt for pockets just like oh no <laughs> oh no dude did you for totally forget your wallet venmo <laughs> just yeah i take venmo Okay, cool. Come, um, I come back. Oh yeah, totally, yeah. dude. Come oh, man. back. Awesome. Yeah. You are like, bro, and he puts his hand bro. up to like fist bump. He just like <laughs> hits it. <Dang>. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Not cool. Righteous, and he's gonna walk out. <laughs> the poor guy yeah. just looks flabbergasted mm. <laughs> trying to figure out what person in a furry costume has done this mm -hmm. jj you pull up right in front of the coffee shop as you hear Chris the announcement of a lost child and you think this could be grizzy <laughs> um can i like is or is like open face window kind of thing where like i could see them in there yeah um, I'm just gonna wave at <laughs> Grizzly. I'm gonna turn to the person at the counter and just be like, my ride's here. <laughs> Crank the music. <laughs> as more, as, as now Ludacris is playing out of the go-kart. You, Grizzly, make your way on out. Oreo, Pauline, do you follow? Alright, as you make your way on out... <clears throat> Back over to the go kart. Pauline <laughs> holding your coffee cup full of honey and your go go juice. Uh, you all make your way over, and then you see Frank kind of surfer duding 
maybe their way out feel a little more comfortable. He, he's got a swagger in his steps that you haven't really seen him sort of walk in with before. And all of you converge on the go-kart. Frank, are you dancing? I don't I think you said you didn't do that. Yeah. I mean, it's been a really you long time, but yeah. You're totally dancing! I start dancing. Yeah. I turn the music up even more. <laughs> yeah, let's let's call it Crank dancing. It. Yeah, it's dancing. And <laughs> guys, we gotta find the big honey. Yeah, I didn't see it in that place back there. I looked. We need it. It's not in the mm -hmm. coffee shop. No. I try to like sniff my way to the to, to the good honey. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Give me a bear check for the good honey. The good honey. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You smell around. You smell good honey, but it's not great honey. Mm. And you can tell the honey's coming from a slightly different direction. It seems mm. to be wafting down the hallway, maybe from like the left side. There's there's a lot of conflicting honey smells going on right now, but you feel you feel like the honey's close. Off to should the we, left, probably. Do we follow bees? Yeah, that makes sense. Buzz, buzz. As you follow the buzzing noise, that would bring you into the hall C-B. And over the top, you see a sign written, Life of Bees. And as you walk through the front doors, the first thing that you see is that uh, the bee movie is playing on the wall. <laughs> and uh, they're selling scripts of bee movie. Uh, all uh, profits go to bee-related charities. And then on the other side, you see a film of the life cycle of a bee. And all of you feel quite upset when they see of how they depict bears in this scenario, where the bear's knocking down the honey hive, going through the honey and eating it. And you all feel a little enraged that you have not been portrayed in the best light possible. We let them go to Disney World. Yeah, we take our bees to Disney. Can I walk up to a, a beekeeper and be like, do you take your bees to Disney? Uh, yeah, roll for bear to see if you can human your bees? way through. To see if you can uh, guilt them about not taking their bees to Disneyland. Yeah. Without fail, you manage to channel your most inner human and you go on about them not taking their bees. Uh, I don't know. I never thought to take... Bees live long enough to go to Disneyland? Bees love Disneyland. <laughs> I'm... Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to management about that. And they kind of sort of standing there, and it looks like you've given this beekeeper an existential crisis. <laughs> Bears, bees, friends, not enemies. I'm gonna walk away, real angry like, but I'm so small, so it just looks silly. <laughs> As you stomp your feet like an angry toddler, you <laughs> make your way over back into the center of the room. <clears throat> and it looks like it's just a lot of movies and memorabilia talking about the different lives of bees. Uh, you do see a table that is selling like beekeeper gear, uh, like bee hats, uh, the smoke. Uh, the smokers that they use in the hives and those sort of things as well. We're not in the right place, guys. No, no honey here. Um, can I? So, what did we learn? Like, what exactly did the Grand Poobah say about the honey? He said the honey is in the lower levels, likely on one of the sides. So, probably A or C. Um, the can lobby. I see if ooh, um, can I see if there's like a security station or like go to a map and look to see if there's like a security room or something? Totally. Um, right by the food court, you notice a sign that's been knocked down, and it does have like a wheel, a uh, tire print over top of it. 
Uh, but you are able to see a security era is labeled in lobby C, uh, which is now operating as the dealer room. You you guys stay here and I'll go see if I can find uh, where where the honey might be. You sure that's wise to go alone? It's just it's just a convention. Like what's gonna happen at a convention? I mean. I mean... I'm not the one driving go-karts into things, like... Yeah, okay. Is, is there anything else in Lobby C that look, looks like that might be interesting? Um, Can you describe the smoke things? Sure. So the smoke thing, uh, give me a second here, uh, looks just like this. So, uh, it is a bee smoker, so it looks like a little uh, tin can with a funnel on the top, <clears throat> and it has like a little accordion on the back that you would push to push smoke out. <coughs> can I try to take one of those? Or, unless I can buy it for two dollars. <laughs> which which is it? Are you gonna try to buy it for two dollars? I'm gonna try gonna... to buy it for two dollars. <laughs> so you, you make your way over to the table, and you plop down the two dollars, and try to tool money by. Uh, I'd like you to roll for bear to see if you might be able to intimidate them into giving you over the smoker for two dollars. You do. <laughs> so you you make your way over as your sun bear. So you stand up tall. I don't know if you've ever seen a sun bear stand up tall. Oh, they look like. A little, little crazy. So you kind of saunter over and you smack down the two dollars. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, and they kind of push the smoker and just grab the two dollars, which are very crumpled up. I kind of wave. <laughs> you now have the bear smoker or bee smoker. Bear smoker. <laughs> no, that was the hemp shop, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, we do have a bear smoker. Alright. Um, so what you see in Lobby C, it looks like there's maybe like a conference room, a security room, and people coming in and out, um, leaving the rooms that didn't have beer gear beer be gear before. Uh, so people carrying, like, beekeeper suits, holding, like, hives, artificial honeycomb, those sort of things. They all seem to be kind of going in and out of that area. <clears throat> uh, Lobby C is full of furries. <laughs> um, where does... Can Frank see where the, uh, like, security sort of booth or station or room or he's looking for like security cameras okay uh roll for criminal to see if you okay. can find security cameras okay totally so you see that there are security cameras uh located by the elevator on either side and there's security cameras stationed by the bathrooms and one by the food court. So you're saying that the the he can see the images of those security cameras. Yeah, marked oh. on the map. Oh, oh, he. Say. I meant like looking for like so where security is watching the monitors is what uh, I was meaning. Uh, so the bathroom in lobby C is mm -hmm. marked as security. Mm hmm. So that would be um this room back in here um so frank wants to um like he wants to cause a a scene um he wants to you said there's a bunch of furries right yeah down by lobby a um yeah um oh down but oh i thought you said they were in near lobby c so, uh, there are some by Lobby C because they're going into Hall B, mm -hmm. which whenever they open the door, you hear, uh, techno music playing. Gotcha. Um, I think he's gonna go up to the security room, mm -hmm. and he's gonna, like, 
like try to open it or like bang on the door, whichever one works. Yep, the door opens. Easy enough. D danger, d child, g taken. And you see a couple of like people in business suits like kind of look up the missing child like he's trying to like because the missing child like a uh, notification that went out on the sound mm -hmm. like the speakers like go ahead and roll criminal to okay. see if you can persuade them okay uh your words are kind of jumbled a little bit as you're you're trying to get through to them mm -hmm. uh but you have their attention they, they mm -hmm. just can't quite Huh? What? What are, you, what are you talking about? Fox. Is the kids missing? Fox. The blue fox took the. The blue fox took the child. The crash blue fox child. Oh. Okay. I. Uh, I guess. I. Uh, fine. I guess we'll go. And they kind of, the three of them stand up and walk out of the room and start just kind of doing rounds. And they look at you like. You gotta learn to talk better, okay? Okay. Bear. <laughs> bear. Persona. Yeah, it's persona. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I'm, I'm just here for my job. I don't. I don't. Well, you're a bear in a fez hat. It's so weird. But in a, in a Hawaiian ch child. Child. Oh, but fine, fine, fine. And they start making their way. Uh, so right now the room is cleared out. Okay. Um, because if it's like a super secret thing, he wants to see if there's a super secret camera to a super secret room that would be watching the door. Okay, uh, you make your way inside and you see a panel of TVs, and behind you, you see a room inside of the room, and it looks pretty secretive, and it's got this like clear door. Uh, looks like a glass door, but you don't see any like handles or anything to it. And when you look inside, you see a very familiar looking briefcase. Mm. Uh, 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 he's like, oh, sh okay. Oh, shit. Um, I didn't, I just, I didn't, ex okay. Um, he's gonna try to open the door as you go to open the door you touch it and um an lcd screen lights up and uh you see uh you see this oh you see a word search that has been For used in place of a security code the hell what the what the who the fuck? I've never seen this before. What the fuck is this? Okay. Do we... Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, what is happening? Oh! Um, he doesn't... He can read, but, like, he's just, like, he doesn't really know. So he's, like, trying really hard, and he's like, ah, I should... I need to get... Ah, Polly would be way better. This is not... This is not what I'm used to. What the hell are these kids doing these days? Secured back in my day, this one? And he's like grumbling to himself, like, back in my day, this would have been much easier. I don't know what these kids are doing these days. Like, what the fuck? And, um, is there, um, is this, a, is the sound system or like speaker system in here? Does he see like a microphone? Mm -hmm. Um, can he just wants to go on it? And push the button and just go, just like, sub, like, rawr, like, bear sound. <laughs> rawr. Roll for bear. Okay. You slap that paw down on the intercom and let out the best polar bear roar that you can. Oh, the rest of our uh, party, what do, what do we think of this bear roaring over the PA system? Oh, that sounds I mean, like for sure. Oh understand. my goodness! Does right? Are you like saying, telling us where to go, or are you just roaring? <laughs> um, he didn't want to say anything because he would assume that 
brains would figure it out. Like, if he's on the intercom, like, they go where the intercom would be. I don't know. He's just, like, he doesn't know. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess Pauline will go over to that same, like, directory with the tire mark and, like, just look down and stare at it for a minute and be like, oh, I think I know where he is. And just, like, start waddling over. Uh, do the rest of you follow? I want to yeah. tail. I want to tail behind and see if like security's coming back. If I see like any. All right. So you're gonna watch out to the. You'd be like a lookout. Yeah. All right. Uh, anybody else gonna be lookouts or what's the plan? Uh, I'd probably be lookout with him. Okay. <clears throat> JJ. I uh, do. I smell my go kart. <laughs> JJ, you it, it, you might have just driven the go kart into the hall for all we know. I think it was. I think it was as, as many places as I could to go with the go kart. I probably was. Um, and if like Polly needs to get somewhere fast, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. I don't know if there's like additional seats or what. Polly squishes in into it and um, is gonna put the honey badger like on her shoulder. So you yeah. hop into the go kart. <laughs> the 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 wheels sink down lower. The weight of all these bears on it. You feel it rev, and it doesn't quite have the pickup that it used to before. But you feel a sense of completion. You are finally the driver. <laughs> My life's purpose. And you go <laughs> and you roar down at three miles an hour. <laughs> Hell the yeah. Hallway. I'm still politely beeping if anyone gets in the way. As you keep uh, but I have like the I have the like Tokyo Drift stuff going in my head, you know. <laughs> yeah, as you're going through, and you yeah. make your way to the door, probably slower than if you would have walked. But you do make your way to the door. Uh, the door is left ajar from the three security guards that had run out or maybe walked out in confusion with Frank's antics. And you see uh, you see Frank there taking his paw and kind of using the touch screen and trying to find words on this door. Pa Polly, can come do something with this shit. This isn't... It's just lettuce oh my and goodness. words. Oh and... my goodness! No, 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 no! This is this is a word trick. I love these. Me and the girls do this on of Wednesdays over a glass of honey. Of course, you just do this shit for fun. I mean, <laughs> like. Oh my goodness! What? And like in her like excitement, she kind of like pushes him off to the side. Um, I think we should. Uh, I got. I didn't expect to find this room and the code and. I told the security guards that, you know, there's a missing kid and the fox took the kid, so uh, we should probably do something about that because they're going to come back here when they realize that it was, a, it was a lie, I guess. I mean, I don't know what mm -hmm. this accent is. <clears throat> All right. So as the two of you start working <clears throat> on the code together, the three of you are out there and you hear, JJ! What are you doing here? And down the hall walks this black bear. And he's got a brown bear and a sun bear beside him. What are you doing here? Grand Pooba's not supposed to be a part of this. This is Benny's gig. They start making their way towards you. Is this... Wait, is this dad? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Yes. It's 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 one of uh, Vinny's lackeys. Uh, you've seen oh, him right. before. His name was Bozo. Bozo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and beside Bozo, uh, the sun bear Bambi, and on the other side, the brown bear Baloney. <laughs> Baloney. Uh, making their way. If if he's like still talking, I'm gonna rev the. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't gonna use those scare tactics on us, right? Yeah, no scare tactics! Nah, we're tough. As the bears start making their way down Are they, the hallway. because I revved it, are they having to like speak louder? Yes. Like in bear? Yes, they are totally roaring at this point to get over the- Okay. Are, 
Uh, are we all out there? Is it me, Oreo, and and um? Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, can I yell out to like Inhuman? Be like, bear off, bear off, because we already won the the competition. So I'm gonna try to cause a distraction by trying to bear off with these guys. All right, go ahead and uh, roll for bear for the bear off. <laughs> I'm trying to get as many people's attention as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> uh, your attempt to yell bear off is drowned out by the sounds of the revving go-kart and three other bears roaring at the top of their lungs, yelling out threats and saying that they are not scared. Uh, <laughs> Frankie and Pauline, you hear this from the other room as you've been working on, and as you hear this, the door <clears throat> opens and does slide open. Uh, yeah, but I guess Pauline just, like, looks inside. What's in there? Uh, what you I, see... Holy, I'll go- I can go check on that if you want to take care of whatever's left in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you see a table with a briefcase, and you see well-trained bees making arcing movements back and forth across the room. Oh my goodness, this is just exactly what I wanted. Um, and I guess we'll just use the bee smoker, just get it started. Yes. <laughs> It is it's going way to more fun than craft night. <laughs> it's going to take a couple of rounds as it only okay. puts out like a 10 foot radius. So um, it's going to take- Can I- can I chug the coffee and then do that? Yes. We will come back later to see what consequences the coffee may or may not have on your <laughs> DI tract whilst you are smoking out the bees. <laughs> So we're going to take that for a second. Frank, you start making your way down the hallway and you see JJ revving up the cart. You see Grizzy kind of like trying to pump him on, screaming. You see Oreo just chewing on bamboo, watching, but also trying to like look intimidating while eating the bamboo. And you see the three lackeys that you grew up with that abandoned you. You see Bozo, Bambi, baloney some of your best friends who decided to go off with Vinny take out the honeypot name standing in front of you um he's gonna walk up to to Oreo who's just chilling like what the hell are these these guys doing here they uh they just showed up what, what is uh, what is all this? Is, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But what is all this shit hat? Like, what is? I we... can throw something at them. Hey, yo, Frankie! Hey, hi there! Long time no see, dude. Eh, fuck you, man. Nah, we are we? Is this what? Is this starting shit? Is this what this is? You want it to be? You ain't supposed to be here. What is that? I could be wherever I want to be. What? What? Why are you here? Why? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm <laughs> just louder and louder. Are <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go find a table or like a bookcase that's nearby and throw it at them? <laughs> All right, easy enough. While the two of them are just saying, "Why are you here?" back and forth, hitting Why louder and louder here? and louder. Uh, you go into the coffee shop and you pick up one of the, the stools, you know, like the big heavy stools. Uh, go ahead <laughs> and roll for, uh, roll for bear. Hell yeah. So as the two are going, why are you here? Why are you here? You sort of slink off to the side, moving slow, because you know, people don't notice things when they move slowly. And you kind of crawl along the wall and you hold up the chair and you've seen like in, in the movies through the windows before of people hitting each other with chairs when they were in like tiny swimsuits. And you take the chair and whack 
<laughs> on the back of Bozo's head. And Bozo does not make it. <laughs> Bozo <laughs> falls flat on the ground, and you see Bim. <laughs> Baloney just looks at you. <laughs> and looks terrified and starts running up the stairs while Bambi just stands there, tears going down her cheeks. For the one that's running, can I try to like cut them off with the go kart? <laughs> totally. Roll for uh roll for criminal at advantage. Okay. And is uh is Grizzy still on the car with me? Yeah, sure. Okay. We're just, I'm just hyping you up. <laughs> We're just having a nice brotherly moment. <laughs> We're bonding. We're bonding. Oh, At so, one, yeah. Without fail, you zoom down that hallway. And you... <laughs> you Can I Tokyo to drift? And Tokyo drift it. And you drift the card and kind of the back end screeches out from behind you. You circle around and Grizzy, you reach out and punch this baloney. Yeah. <laughs> He's just trying to make his way through. And it's like the slow motion. <laughs> as the race goes. And they go flying on the ground as the car finishes the Tokyo drift and stops and just the rum, 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 rum. As the car just kind of rumbles a little bit. <laughs> I move my sunglasses up on top of my head. <laughs> Again, you know your dad would be proud. Ah! <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Bambi's just sitting there <laughs> trying to like aid Bozo, who's just moaning on the ground. I try and punch Bambi. No survivors. <laughs> no survivors, no witnesses. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you are you are very bare, by the way. So like you go out and you feel yourself on the brink of going feral and you just need to like lightly punch, but then no survivors. Leave no trace. Nobody talks. Starts going through your head from your years of training. And you hold the bamboo in your fist to make the fist actually tighter and hit harder. And you punch. And as you punch, the bamboo splinters in your hands as Bambi flies across the floor. <laughs> anime style, making a dent in the back wall. <laughs> and just lies there. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> you make your way back into the security room, I'm guessing. All right. Hey, Pauline, it's been a couple of rounds. How how how's your GI tract feeling? Um, what a great question. Do I just roll a D6 for that? Uh huh. Wonderful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you finish smoking out the bees, you, you your stomach starts grumbling a little bit. And, oh dear! And you feel you feel the need to defecate quickly. Oh no! Um. Yeah, I just I'm a bear. I'm just gonna shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote of the day. <laughs> and you do. So as the five of you, well, the four of you run into the room, it's a little smoky. You see in the corner, you see Pauline <laughs> dropping a deuce. Just pooping in the corner. See with this information. No, we're bears. We're it's like a bears. Like nothing. It's like <laughs> yeah. It's just we're bears. Uh, Pauline, shouldn't you be going for the honey? I I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you see the briefcase sitting on the middle of the table. Wait, that looks identical <laughs> to the fake one that was given to the Grand Poobah by Vinny when he betrayed them. Can I open it? 
Uh, as you go to open it, you see a sophisticated lock. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's a set of, of dials that look like they can be turned with a honeybee. Mm -hmm. And as you've come into the room, you hear kind of crawling noises, and you, you see Bozo. You'll never open it! I set the code myself! So, so we'll it open be it. Easy then. Yeah, that's so I could yeah. do it is what you're saying, Bozo. I mean, your history doesn't really match up to this being unsolvable, buddy. I mean, he's crawling on the floor, right? So I'm like taller than him at this moment. I want to kick him in the head. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Nope. <laughs> uh, as you go to 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 kick him, uh, you actually feel yourself uh, starting to feel like you need to take the honey for yourself. You miss, and you're so frustrated. And you feel yourself like, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you're not quite ready to betray the party, but you feel fucking revved up. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you kind of stub your toe a little bit on the door <laughs> as you <laughs> into the side. It's trying uh, so hard not to cry. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Uh, you are oh, able to sort of spin these around if you want. I can do it for you. Uh, who would like wow. to try to solve this super duper complicated puzzle? I would. Okay. Uh, so, for, so our hackers, we, as you spin... How the one you... wheel, you see some letters start to... How do you mm. spin? Uh, you can click on the item, and then where you see, like, where you could transform it. I don't mm. know if you can see that oh, or I not. See. Uh, click on the little dot above, and you can spin it. I... What do you mean? Oh, so... I just don't move. That's okay. I can also move it, too, for you, if you, if you would rather. Just tell me which one do you want to move. Um... I don't I would want I would just start messing with it, but Okay. Uh you what? have the stethoscope. Does that help? Oh, totally. Yeah, but how I wanna like what is the but what you're saying okay. what is the the thing to click on though? Like the Um, so when you click on it, do you see a little blue outline with boxes in each of the corners? Or no? Is that just something I see? No. It might be okay. something you just see. Okay. So you tell me which way you want to do, and I'll kind of start rolling them around based on your rolls. Okay. So um, you get to roll for criminal with advantage because uh, is there you're a such hacker? thing as triple advantage? Because I have a Oats. stethoscope. We'll let it happen. Sure. Cool. Um. So one, two, three. Perfect. Uh, you roll the first one well, around. So he, um, he's gonna sit down and it's like, he's gonna look like really serious. Like, I'm like, all right, let me fix my shirt here and get my collar and quick. All right, let's, let's do this. Okay. And so you, you see him put this down and put there and he takes his bear paw and starts turning the wheel and you hear, you know, you, you just sort of spin and you hear click. And you see the letter H, and you start turning again. Is it honey? I bet it's honey. This guy is. This guy. He is, knows two words, and one of them is honey. Yeah, like this guy. Hi. And you you sort of turn one the other direction, try to spin it again. And for the last one, oh, <laughs> uh, you take it and spin again. To go around. Hive. Oh, that's and, the other uh, word he knows. He yeah. knows three. It, it was gonna be, well. It was gonna be one of two words. It was hive or honey. I mean. Yeah. And you see the B insignia pop up, and it can now be pressed down. He spaps it, and the click the case unlocks and both. Oh, no! I am dumb! You you know two words, buddy. Like, two words. Like, you could have picked something else. You could have just picked random letters, but you picked words you that know. That would have been much harder. Yeah. And you just see Bozo hang his head in shame. 
realizing he is a dumb, dumb bear. <laughs> <laughs> and <clears throat> the suitcase, briefcase opens up, and you see inside this large jar of what can only be described as the most beautiful honey you've ever seen. And as you start to pull it out of the bag, you hear a click. And as you pull it out the rest of the way, you see what looks to be a bomb attached to the honey. And a, a timer uh, starts working and uh, it starts going. Okay. Oh um, dear. What's the timer? It is five minutes. Okay. Um, oh dear. Who's on the floor? Bambi? Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, uh, Frank's gonna go sit on him and be like, well, you put a bomb in here, I'm gonna sit on you and now we're all gonna explode if you don't wanna die. I, I don't know. I, I only put the... Now, nah, I only put the, the, the lock on it. <laughs> well, who, who put the who bomb put in the here? Bomb in? Who put the bomb in here? I don't know, it's about my pay grade. <laughs> He's trying to talk and somehow his accent has changed as his throat has been crushed. <laughs> well. Well, we got the goods. Hey, we got a bomb too. Can we just, we just leave it? We'll just leave it in here? The, bomb, the bomb's attached to the honey, right? Mm -hmm. Or, oh. okay. Um... So we need to disarm this bomb. Oh, I've seen this. They've got wires, and sometimes you gotta cut one, but you don't want to cut the wrong one, or we could all die. Well, I don't know how to tell which one is the right one, but one of them's right. I can't see color. Oh, Oreo goes up <laughs> and he's like, "Eeny, meeny, miny," and he just claws one of them. As you claw it, thirty seconds is taken off of the timer. Which was now at two minutes. Oh shit. Okay. Well, how about <laughs> that wait. wasn't the right one. Oh wait. Can, can I? Can I get? I'm still in my go kart. Um, and I'm hearing bomb noises. I'm gonna drive it towards the coffee shop really quick. Mm -hmm. Um, and slap down my my money. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember how much you said it was. Um, Twenty dollar bill. Twenty dollar bill. <laughs> just to be like. Just to be like. Holding out like panic, like <laughs> okay, I, I hit. It. They just push twenty dollars worth of honey and coffee into your hands. <laughs> just start grabbing it all and hustling back to the group, um, and, and like be like, just throw it on it, liquid. Um, uh, it fizzles for a second, but no. As the timer reads, one minute ten seconds. Okay, let's not touch it anymore. Okay, uh, let me try to figure this thing out. Um, maybe y'all. Maybe you could use guys... the stethoscope again to yeah. figure out which wire. You guys should get out of here, though. Oh, no. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, so we're all just gonna explode. Okay, he's gonna sit down and check out this uh, bomb with the honey. <laughs> Go ahead and roll uh, for criminal with advantage as you're a hacker. Can I take some of the honey that uh, JJ got from the- I was oh. also going to mm -hmm. start eating honey. Yeah, eat your honey. Eat honey. Use your final moments that you feel like, if anything, I'm gonna have a, a tummy full of honey. I'm gonna uh, eat this honey. <laughs> crying. Yeah. Uh, Frank, you are panicked right now, trying to disarm this. Your hands are shaking, and as your hands shake, you notice little pieces of paper falling out of the sides. What there are mean? 10 seconds left. What do you mean pieces of paper falling out of the sides? A confetti, maybe? Oh. <laughs> um, can you just pull the bomb off? And throw As it? As you pull the bomb off, um, you pull it off and you hear this ticking noise. And the sides, as you pull it off, confetti <laughs> pops out of both sides and you hear... As happy birthday plays from the confetti bomb that was placed on the honey. He's looking around. Who whose fucking birthday is it today? Like, is this a joke? Uh, Grizzy. Uh, 
It is actually JJ's birthday next week. <laughs> JJ's is a quarter crying eating honey because he's not eating honey. <laughs> Are we not getting the hundred thousand dollars? I'm gonna be so mad. We should probably take this back. Is this <laughs> was this all a joke or something? Man, and this is the first time I felt alive in years. <laughs> One of us did. I need more bamboo. Yeah, I'm, this is too much for me. This is like, wait, we've been out for way too long. Like, <laughs> too too many people, too much interaction around here. Like, can we just go now? We got the honey. I take I take the honey from Frank, and I'm like, I get JJ, happy birthday. <laughs> Some, like damage control. <laughs> I guess this is yours now. You own the honey. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I even want it anymore. <laughs> Hold on to it. We, we chugged that go go juice. So we just gonna You guys who have chugged the go go juice, honey, in your your panic thinking I'm gonna go down with a belly full of the sweet, sweet honey. Your eyes widen and you look around. Your adrenaline's already pumping through your bodies as you feel the coffee jitters starting to hit you in your hands. They're sort of shaking a little bit and your tummy kind of grumbles uncomfortably <laughs> as you wonder, is this your inheritance? What's going on? <laughs> and you just feel really like, you know, the, have you had a Red Bull? Have you tried a Red Bull? Yeah. Have you tried a Red Bull? I had three Red Bulls. Like, your brain is just going I, right now. I think Grizzy's gonna now have the zoomies and he's just gonna run around the whole <laughs> level. Like, on all fours, just like full zoomies. As, as Grizzy runs around, you hear them going, and jumping off the furniture, off the stuff, uh, running around the room, jumping on chairs, just roll for bear to see how well you parkour. Yes. Oh, do I, since I ate honey, do I get bear stuff? Yep. Every, uh, yep. You equalize. If you ate enough okay. of them, which I think you grabbed a ton of honey. Yeah. Yeah, $20 worth. <laughs> $20 of honey and go-go juice. Bear. <laughs> There yeah. Oh, yeah. You parkour beautifully. As we've seen illustrated in this whole time, you're an amazing dancer. Your hips do not lie. And your body bends and turns in ways that causes all of you to kind of start laughing uncontrollably as the nerves and the jitters wear off from the happy birthday bomb that was attached to this rare Manuka honey. And you kind of get up and gather yourself, and you start making your way out of the room, JJ, holding the honey. You see the three security guards walk into the room go, what the fuck? As they see this unconscious bear, his maw bloodied, and just bees sleeping on the floor. There's a pile of shit in the corner, <laughs> and just confetti everywhere. <laughs> As the five of you walk out, JJ just goes, Birthday. <laughs> I I say I think you got a bear problem. <laughs> <laughs> and they just kind of start gibbering and making noises, trying to go in the room, trying to clean it up. As you make your way back out into the hallway, JJ, you see the car. Do you get back in the car with your honey? How would you like to get out of the convention center? Yeah, I do. I get in the car, and if we can... Can we all fit? I'm so worried that we're not going to be able to all fit. It looks like a clown car, but yes. So we, we have JJ sitting in. Uh, Frankie, you're kind of holding onto the bumper and kind of leaning back. Uh, who would like to go on Frankie's shoulders? I'll, I'll go on the shoulders. I'm tiny. Okay. Uh, and then we have uh, Pauline and Oreo kind of hanging off of the sides in this mm -hmm. little car that is now traveling at like one mile per <laughs> hour, just slowly scooting its way across the lobby floor. 
<laughs> I'm waving like it's a parade. I see. <laughs> Start coming out. I see I mean, why you guys got these things. This is kind of fun, JJ. This is kind of fun. This it's is nice. pretty. It's pretty good. I wanted to do donuts on it, but I'm kind of feeling weird. <laughs> donuts. Like, where's the donuts? Coffee. Back at the coffee shop. I do really slow donuts to show. <laughs> the slowest donut that is just a little like circle around, but you tell everybody to lean to the side so it kind of drifts a little bit to yeah. the sides <laughs> as people come out from the rave, from the the life of bees exhibit, from the Furtona. 500 and they start applauding you as they think this is a parade of the amateur fursuit winners showing off their mad skills with their costume making and as you burn the slowest donuts that have ever happened in the existence of go-karting you have all successfully found the honey rescued it and possibly get paid later but that's for another day, as the Honeypot family name has been brought back to honor. <laughs> Is this you. honor? Well, I was going to yep. say, at least maybe in our family, but whatever happened in there, like... <laughs> <laughs> we also missed our opportunity to make a does a bear shit in the woods joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> Well, if, the, if this was just a surprise for JJ, I think we need to apologize to Bozo. <laughs> yeah, the whole crew. Yeah. Are <laughs> we not all we of them? We made familial tensions much worse. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we got to apologize to this uh, this fox. We blamed a lot of things on this fox. <laughs> and actually, as you make your way poor up the escalator, fox. you see the poor fox in handcuffs. <laughs> Being taken out by security eh, at the front door. You'll be fine. <laughs> My bears, you did an amazing heist today. I am honored by the shenanigans that you did today. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so great job, everybody. Oh, so good. That was so fun. <laughs> Uh, thank you everybody for watching Liquid Gold today. I'm so happy you joined us for our fantastic shenanigans. May the dice be always in your favor. May you always play with your friends and always roll nat 20s.